This is a journey into television. We got a hot one for you. I'm Jake Saigon. You've seen what's in my mouth, you don't need to hear it, so why don't you just switch off? Don't think I can't see you sitting there on your sofa, scoffing your sunny delight and flicking your tits to the hits. You come to me for knowledge, you come to the wrong place. Look inside yourself and feel the emptiness. Hello, and welcome to Swivel on the Tip. The yeah, show yeah, yeah, totally put a plan right. on it, Vin. This is TV that makes no claims, refuses to advertise itself, and would rather shoot itself in the cock than prostitute itself to media whores. And later we'll be meeting the boy band who drink each other's piss. No, today. we won't. Yeah. It's been cancelled due to lack of interest. Here's the news with Formica Bland. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Check it. I'm Formica Bland. I have. <laughs> Jerry Halliwell has just completed her 18th holiday this year and told me she's ready to resume her humanitarian activities again. She's flying into Somalia tomorrow to pair socks for the starving. British charities send over thousands of pairs of socks each year, she told me. But the Somalians aren't very good at matching up the pairs. Many of them are colorblind because they have bad diets, and some of them can't be bothered. I've got a thing about twos, and I can't stand to see people go round wearing odd socks. I want to harm them. Other celebrities involved in the charity include Stephen Gately, whose company will be building micro-scooters to sell to the starving so they can forage more easily for food. And David Bowie, who is giving away a load of internet. <laughs> Finally, you too have announced the postponement of their forthcoming world tour, as The Edge won't have finished building the stage in time. The Edge has built the stage for each one of the band's tours since 1984, and won greater claim for his Big Lemon on 97's Pop Tour. Insiders say that this time round, the stage will feature a fire-breathing 70-foot Bono and a giant cannon which will fire hot marmalade into the audience. The current delay has been put down to a batch of bad nails. <laughs> Finally this week, which leading Britpop singer has such an obsession with Star Wars that he has a specially adapted Chewbacca costume which he forces virgin teenage groupies to wear while he plays taped Wookiee noises and defiles them roughly over a table? Think about it. Jake? Hey, for my case, great to see you back on TV. I used to watch you uh, back in the day on Project X. Um, a, a, as a seven-year-old. Mm. Anyway, you embryos won't have seen that. Pour me a vid shot, make mine a triple. <laughs> He's got a beard like a bloody Egyptian. Oh, Christoph, my hairdresser's got a beard like that. I think it's really nice. Haven't you ever thought about a beard, Jake? I think it'd suit you. Uh, uh, don't judge a face by its cover, sis. Word up. Check the tech on these trainers, G. Internet compatible, CD Romula upgradable, airbags in the laces, house beats in the heels. Don't ask the price, they ain't for sale. But my man Hoxton Finn is. He sold out years ago. Yeah, and no one could afford me. Footwear matters. Hell, for any serious headed club dog, it means more than life itself. You wear the wrong shoes, your ass gets shut. Now the underground step into a new shoe for a new groove. Word? These are clubbers and they're down. Yo, tip is what you're wearing. No, they're flippers, man. Cool, but aren't they a bit long? No, once you get used to them, they're fine, isn't it? I'm not wearing these because they're trendy, yeah? I'm wearing them because they're comfortable, do you know what I mean? So how long are they, these shoes? The flippers, man, flippers. Yeah, they're about 18 inches, and uh, here's a bit shorter. No, they're not, man, are longer than yours. What are you talking about? Well, let's yeah, give these friends, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's 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 Don't you trip up in them. What you see, man? You take the piss. Look, they're cool, man. Watch me. That's not how you do it, you tip. Look, look, this is the style, yeah? Look, look, whatever, man. It was you suggested this anyway. I don't even wear these fucking things. Yo, let's keep this real. These is clown shoes, isn't they? What are you saying? Are you saying that we look like clowns? Is that what you're saying? Yo, I say it how I see it, blood. Yeah? Well, you're the only clown around here, pal. Truth hurts, people. So, Jake, you got round this tip yet, or are you still way back in that last fat lace? <laughs> Been it, seen it, mean it more than you'll ever know, boy! Now, 
If swivel on the tip is about anything, it's about... Can it, ham hands? The only one around here who knows what time it is is Pussycat Gethsemane, and she had to go all the way to Germany to get a clear signal. Don't blink, dickheads, or you'll wake up back in the 50s. What's you, Pussycat? I'm here in the middle of Dusseldorf, which the fashionistas are calling the new Barcelona, in the home of the most exciting and innovative new electronic artists on Earth, or elsewhere. They're a duo called Bundesmusik, and I've just spent a month with them, sleeping, drinking, and when necessary, shafting the future. Hi, guys, what's happening? Do not speak unless spoken. Each day, we carry out 25 important creative exercises. This is number 16, the Sonic Penalty Shootout. Uh, your English know all about the penalty shootout, I think, yes? Wembley in 1996, and also World Cup in 1990, yeah? Soon I'm going to fire pieces of sound at Klaus, as though they were sonic penalties. If Klaus is able to stop them going in the goal, then they are worthless, and they will be destroyed and burnt on a fire. But if the sound goes past him, then that is good, and we can use them. Are you ready, Klaus? Ciao, Rolf. Almost, Klaus. That was a good attempt. Are you ready for another? <laughs> Unfortunately, no, Ralph. But you got your fingers to that phone. Now, we will try shooting one of your compositions, Klaus. <laughs> Saved. Well done, Klaus. You read my thinking so good straight down the middle. Therefore, that one will be destroyed. Have you ever saved one of Rolf's sounds, Klaus? I'm thinking, no, never. And how about your own sounds? Yeah, it is uncanny. I always catch my own. But you're all then discarded. Yes, Klaus? Yes, Rolf. All of them. Gone, burned, dead. Well, I hate football, but even I was impressed with that. So, welcome to Bundesmusik, the future of 21st century electronic sound sculpture. Back to Swivel HQ. Swivel HQ. Jesus. Run VT. <laughs> Now, Swivel on the Tip is a global bandas brand. That means it's part of people's daily lives all over the world. But we don't believe in language, we don't believe in culture, and we don't believe in your paper gods. We speak with one voice. And right now, they're swiveling on the tip all over the world. Here's Wolf Mutterbanger, the man behind the German version of Swivel on the Tip. Faust Vick mit ein gekocktes Ei. <laughs> Rock! Geben Sie, weil du nicht in den Stiebelschraft ist. Wie kommen wir am besten zum Bahnhof, ja? Nein, Dummkopf! Habe ich eine lange Schlange? Ja, Tossig! Hunden, Hunden, Hunden! Ja, und später gibt es die wunderbaren neuen Video von Lili Kabel! Nein, Schweinbild! Ich habe eine, es gibt David Hasselhoff, der Rockstar! In meinen Arschklopf! <lacht> And staying on the German theme, after the break, we've got a live satellite link-up with Germany itself. Yeah, any objections? Well, you better strap on your parachutes, because we're opening the exit door and it's a long way down. <laughs> After the break, we'll be meeting hip video director Smuts, nailing some stick to a board and playing some music. <laughs> Welcome back, pop puppies. Now, lots of you have been sending us emails again this week, and we're even getting some right now as the show is actually on. How does that happen, eh? Wow. Anyway, um, Sasha from North Normandy says, Hi, Pippi. I love the show and I love your stylish sense of fashion. Where do you get your clothes from? Well, Sasha, lots of the top fashion labels send me clothes to wear on the show, but I also like to get clothes at a special time of year when certain shops have what's known as a sale. I even found some shoes in a barn once. It was round at my friend Lucinda. Uh, OK, OK, OK. Zip your face, Guff. 
Jake, um, looks like you're popular as well this week. Um, this one here says, we think Jake is a real dream boat. Please can you make our day, Jake, and lift up your shirt and show us your six pack. Well, Jake, are you going to make their day? What are you talking about, woman? Blind dates on the sellout channel, Dib. Go on, Jake. Oh, he's just a bit shy. Just a quick flash. OK, OK. Quit hounding me, woman. I don't got nothing to hide. Whoa, Jakey baby. That email was from um, David and Tim in Brighton. David and Tim, what? Uh, OK, Radula. Two of my gay brothers. Respect. Big shout out to the homo homies out there on the street getting a rough neck with the batty boys. Um, um, uh, tough power. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what next? Beverly Craven. <laughs> Well, yes, actually. And don't act surprised, cos our man Divi John Rex is laughing at you. What up? This time I want to talk about a special friend of mine. Talking about Beverly Craven. You'll know her best from when she ripped your heart out and shat on it with the classic Promise Me. It was a song about trust, about promising someone you'd wait for them and needing to know they felt the same way too. What she was waiting for we may never know. Maybe it was for a lover who had to go away on business for a year. Maybe a bus driver. Maybe, maybe a date who she'd inadvertently stood up due to some tragic misunderstanding or some kind of grisly accident. It meant a lot of things to a lot of people. But most important, it meant something. And that, in a sense, means the most of all. Stay lucky. Yeah, me again. You expecting a video? Nah, this is real life. But if you want to be talking videos, you better be calling this guy the Daddy Mac. He's called Smiths. He's coming out of New York faster than a car. And he's so hot, you're going to burn your eyes just watching this. Dig. Money. got $500,000 for making that video and it's won awards and he's also made videos with Madonna, Radiohead and Wet 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 and he's with us in the studio today. Smiths, welcome. Smiths, brother, roughneck, blinging with the blingingest. I love you man, I think you're really real. Yeah, I really like the one where the cats talk, you know, like in the Creature Comforts pit, adverts. Pit. I think that was someone else. But what I really want to know is, first of all, is where did you get your name? It's brilliant. From my parents. Great! So they've called you Smith since you were a child? Pretty much, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha I like it, man. Real name. Keeping it real. Yeah. I tell you, this guy's a genius. Genius. Serious. So. When you make videos, do you use, like, a great big camera? We generally shoot on Super 8. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, attitude, all right, like it. So, um, so you work with Madonna 
How was that? It was cool. Um, Madonna's cool. <laughs> she is cool, isn't she? Madonna's super cool. Did you go and see her at Earl's Court? My friend Tabitha knows someone at Versace. No, and <laughs> Sorry about that, man. She gets a bit wack-eyed sometimes. So, the concept of the video, yeah? It's like... It's a comfortable chair, but it's keeping us down. But if the chair is a prison dig and we're all sitting down, do you prefer to be standing up? I'd rather not be sitting down now. <laughs> Get this wigger, man. Crazy, crazy. So, um, are the people in the video like real people? Yeah, right. So, what does the future hold for Smiths? I'm kind of getting into landscape gardening. Uh, I'm tired with this whole video thing. Wow. You heard it here first, brothers and sisters. Smiths is moving on. Getting down on the green tip. Big respect to Smiths. Smiths is dead. Long live Smiths! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>